Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and delete the other storage on iPhone using this crazy app called Storage Plus Plus. So using this app, guys, you will be able to go ahead and delete the other storage. So you can see right here, Storage Plus Plus, it's a super cool app. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to download this today. So you can see right here, it says delete other storage and you can actually go ahead and do it. So it's really cool. And I can't believe this actually works, but it does. So if you want to download this, guys, follow along with me, and I'll show you exactly what you need to do. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the app just so I can show you guys exactly to download it from the beginning. So before you download this, guys, what you have to do is go ahead and open up the settings app. And there's a few settings that we're going to go ahead and change. So I'm going to open the app and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So once you're in settings, guys, there's basically three different options we're looking at. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go down here to the general section. And we need to make sure that this option called background app refresh is on. It's very important that you have background app refresh enabled. Otherwise, this will not work. So make sure it's on and you're going to be good to go. You can set it to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data. It doesn't matter. But this will allow apps to refresh their content. So it's super important that you have this on. You can see here I can have it on either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and mobile data. So once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and go down here to where it says battery. So scroll down to battery and you want to make sure guys that the low power mode is off. Now it's very important that the low power mode is off. Um, you'll know it's on because your battery percentage will turn yellow. So make sure this is off. It's just not something you want enabled. So make sure low power mode's off. And once you've done that, all you have to do is go ahead and go down here to the app store section. And what we're going to do is make sure that this option called automatic downloads is on. This should be on by default, but if it is off, make sure you go ahead and turn it on. Now, once you've done that, you're pretty much all good to go. And all you have to do now is go ahead and go to this amazing site I'm about to show you. So let me just go ahead and go to my browser and I'm going to show you guys the site. So let me just go over here. And the site you want to go to is called ipazilla.com. So ipazilla.com has a ton of modded apps and games. Once you're here, you'll notice there's different sections on the site. Um, there's like games, emulators, tweaks, and utilities. But if you have a particular app in mind, I just recommend using the search bar to go ahead and search it up. But you can see right here, they have tons of modded apps and tons of modded games. So it's a super cool site. I highly recommend coming back to it. Uh, if you ever want like an app or something. So what I'm going to do is just go up here to the search bar and I'm going to go ahead and type it in. So let me do that right here. Storage plus plus and you can see it comes right up. So in order to download it, all you have to do is go ahead and press install. So do that. And once you press install, it's going to say signing storage IPA. Um, and it's going to show you like a progress bar. Now an IPA is the file extension for any app on iPhone. So you'll know you're downloading the iPhone version. Um, whatever you guys do, do not leave the site because at the end it is going to ask you to install a configuration profile. So it's very important that you stay on the site. Just let it load. It's going to say installing in the corner um, so you know it's downloading. So let's just give it a second to finish. All right. All right. It's almost done. So once it reaches the end, it's going to start loading this little circle around and around. So let's just give it a minute for that to happen. You can see there it goes. And then it's going to ask us to install this profile. So let's just give it a minute. There it is. The website's trying down a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? So you have to go ahead and press allow. And once you do that, it's going to say profile downloaded. Press close. And what you have to do now is go ahead and reopen settings to install the profile. So let me do that right here. And once you open up settings, guys, um, you should now see a message at the top that says profile downloaded. So you want to go ahead and press on that. And once you do that, you should get a message that says install. So let me just show you guys. You can see here it is install. Press on that, and then you just have to enter in your iPhone passwords. So let me do that right here. And once you do that, you just have to go ahead and press install again. Press install in red. This is the final prompt. Go to your home screen, and you will now see the Storage Plus Plus app on your device. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely go ahead, share this with your friends, get the word out. It's super cool, and I can't believe it actually works. So remember, guys, to download this. All you have to do is go to the site ipazilla.com. Preferably, just use the search bar and type in storage, and it will come right up. To download it on your device, go ahead, press install, wait for the progress bar to reach the end, and then you should get that prompt to install the configuration profile once the download is at the very end. So let's just give it a minute, and here it comes. And all you have to do is go ahead and press allow. It will say profile downloaded, press close. Just go ahead, reopen settings. You'll see the message at the top that says profile downloaded. Go ahead, press on that, press install. It will ask you for your iPhone password, put that in. And then all you have to do is press install again, press install in red. Go to your home screen and you will have storage plus plus on your device. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely go ahead, share this, get the word out. Everybody needs to know about this. It's super, super cool. Big shout out to the team at IPZilla. I'll be seeing you guys later and peace out.